This stretch of the Milwaukee River, from North Avenue to Locust Street, has seen tough times. During the 70s and 80s, blighted best described this area. There really wasn't much hope. Then, things started to change. The neighbors around Riverside Park began to clean up the area and formed what would become the Urban Ecology Center. They made a lot of progress, but the job was too big for one group alone. When the Urban Ecology Center and their neighbor Peter Godfrey invited the Milwaukee Rotary to join the effort. It seemed like an ideal way to celebrate Rotary's 100th year of service to Milwaukee. Visionary leadership understood that the power of Rotary is one of leverage. Once Rotary got behind the project, others came to the fore. Partners like the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative, the River Revitalization Foundation, and Milwaukee County too, now things really got going. Years of neglect were counteracted with care and attention. Invasive species were removed. Clean fill and rich topsoil were brought in. Trees were planted, and the new land was seeded with a mix of native species. And this problem area was transformed. Instead of a place to be avoided, the Milwaukee Rotary's Centennial Arboretum is now a destination for school kids and joggers, moms and canoers, study groups and artists. Year-round activities like tapping maple trees, sledding, snowshoeing, hiking, and bird watching make this revitalized area a playground for young and old. School partners and summer camps get hands-on lessons, leading to an appreciation of the beauty and science of nature in this urban setting. This converted industrial land is now both the entrance to the Milwaukee River Greenway and a source of native seeds, helping to revitalize the entire river valley. The restoration of the river corridor also helps improve water quality in both the river and our Great Lake. Access to the river has been greatly improved with both a pedestrian bridge and paved paths down to the canoe launch. But it didn't just happen. The community made it happen. The partnerships were crucial in the process, as were the volunteers who continue to be a critical element in the success of the Arboretum. With collaboration, cooperation, and a lot of hard work, this once blighted piece of Milwaukee is healing, healing itself healing bird, insect, and fish populations, healing the community. But what about you? Have you been to the Milwaukee Rotary Centennial Arboretum? No matter what time of year it is, you need to explore, get involved, volunteer, or just enjoy this newly polished gem.